trick trainers. I've got a new trick to tell you about. This one is teaching your dog to back up. This trick is in my book called 10 Minute Dog Training Games on page 76. And it looks a little something like that. So Janie's gonna demonstrate for us how to back up. Janie, come here. Can you go scoop? Scoop. Keep going. Good. There you go. And you see how she's trying to get her back feet onto that blue thing. Scoot. And watch how she kind of, keep going, scoot. And she kind of lifts up that back leg looking for it. Good. There you go. And how about one last time? Jay, scoot. Now watch that back foot. Keep going, scoot. Good. Okay, what I was trying to demonstrate is how she actually takes that one foot and like as she's backing up, she's kind of going like that and she's looking for it with the foot and she knows that the goal behavior is to put that one foot onto this blue thing. So we're going to start off with some kind of object that they have to back up onto. And trust me, when you're teaching a dog to back up, it's so much easier to teach him to back up onto something with like a goal of getting onto something versus just this nebulous concept of, oh, keep backing up in a straight line. So we wanna have this object to start with. Now the object I'm using is one of those Fit Paws um, inflatable discs that looks like this, but you can also use um, like a board I've used before and you could use um, even like a flat dog bed, but you wanna have something that's a little bit thick, not like a doormat. It's gotta be something that they actually really know that they're stepping onto. So, so you put this in there. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is have a treat in our hand, get the dog positioned just like six inches in front of that, that mat or the board or whatever you have. Kind of use body pressure to push them into that board. Watch their back leg be like totally on top of it. So the second that back leg touches your board, you say good or click your clicker and give them the treat. So body pressure, try and get her to step on it. Good. As soon as she stepped on it, I gave her the treat. And again, pull her off. Body pressure, good. And I give her the treat. One more time, pull her off. Body pressure, good. And I give her the treat, okay? So next, we're gonna start with her just a little bit farther away. Body pressure, good. And give her the treat. After she kind of gets the hang of that, I'm gonna stop sort of pushing her so directly into that board and kind of wait for her to do it herself. But I'm still gonna do the body pressure of leaning into her. So I have her here and you go, good. And you just try and get her to you know, lean into it, good. And I give her the treat. Now obviously she already knows the goal behavior. She's doing it like totally easily. It will be a little bit harder for you when you're first starting. But my, what I'm trying to convey is that we wanna wean off of like pushing them with our hand and try and just push them with our body and <laughs> getting on top of it. And then you basically keep going farther and farther and say scoot, good. The second their paw touches the board, you mark it with a clicker or with your marker word, which mine happens to be good, and you go in and give them the treat. It's ideal if you can give them the treat while their feet are still on the board. You saw at the beginning of the video that I was having her scoot back and I was saying good, then she was running forward and I was giving her the treat. That's not ideal when you're starting out. It's better to go scoop, good, and then you run in and give them the treat while they're in their correct position there. So the cue word that I use for backing up is scoot. The reason I use scoot is because the word back was already taken for healing when they, when they heal backwards. Other people I've heard them use like beep beep, like when a truck is backing up. So whatever, be creative, you could choose your own keyword. And um, I guess that's about it. How about one last time, you wanna show them a scoop? And just watch how that back leg searches for it. Go scoop. Keep going, scoop. Scoop. Where'd it go? Where'd it, there it is, good job. <laughs> Okay, so um, why don't you give um, backup or scoot a try and let me know how it goes. Have a good time, guys.